the Bahamas tonight, the Northern Edition. Good evening, I'm Sabrina Brown. Thank you for joining us. School bells will be ringing throughout the public school system come Monday to launch the new academic year. Here on Grand Bahama, school repairs have encountered a slight setback due to several factors, but officials say it shouldn't impact school operations. Today, Ministry of Education and Union officials were taken on a tour of the schools in the Western District, and tonight they are giving their assessment. Megan Shepard reports. With just days left until the opening of the 2016-2017 school year, Ministry of Education officials along with the Bahamas Union of Teachers touring schools in the Western District to assess their readiness. We traveled first to West End. Uh, we went to Holmes Rock. Um, we're going to Bartlett Hill, uh, Martintown. We found that most of the schools are in excellent condition. Uh, we had some concerns at West End where one of the classroom is yet to be tiled, but the contractors promised that it would be ready for Monday. But in terms of the physical structure, uh, everything is, is looking pretty good. The Deputy Director of Schools Management, Joel Lewis, adds that while the physical infrastructure is in top shape, some schools, however, are in need of cosmetic updates. In terms of cosmetic, this school, Eight Mile Rock, uh, can do with painting to the exterior and that will be addressed in short order. The only primary school that seemed to need some painting on the outside is West End. The other schools, Martintown, um, is in excellent condition. Repairs are underway throughout the schools and Lewis is assuring parents that each institution will be ready for Monday, September 5th. We usually have a problem because of the timeline in terms of the physical budgetary period and the time uh, works get started. It's always a crunch time each year, but we somehow managed to get it done. Acting President of the Bahamas Union of Teachers, Joan Knowles Turnquest, also along on the school's tour. She is encouraging both parents and students to get prepared for an excellent year ahead. There's an African proverb that says, um, if you want a brighter tomorrow, you have to start working today. And so definitely our students need to start preparing now. In fact, from you're in grade one or in kindergarten, you need to start preparing for your future. You cannot wait for graduation or grade 12 to start preparing for life. So you have to do that now. We want them to be self-disciplined. We want them to come with an attitude to learn and an attitude of excellence because all of our teachers exhibit professionalism and that attitude. They've been trained and they're ready and they're excited to get back into this new school year. And so we need that commitment from the students. The next stop for the ministry officials will be the island of Abaco. Megan Shepard, Sedanes, Network News. A big incentive being offered to Bahamians to encourage the pursuit of higher learning. The Bahamas Institute of Business and Technology and Colorado Technical University are venturing into a new program that should reduce the cost involved in earning a degree. Colorado Technical University is offering a 58.5% scholarship grant to all Bahamians. President of the institution, Deswell Forbes, and Acting General Director Laverne Gardner say this partnership endeavors to make education affordable for all Bahamians. The last couple of months we've been attempting to enhance the delivery of their programs here in the Bahamas. And one of the things um, that we've done is we've tried to take away some of, some of the financial burden from students here in the Bahamas. If you want more information as it pertains to the scholarship grant that is open to all Bahamians, whether you attended BIBT or not, it doesn't matter if you're out there and you have your associate degree already and you've been contemplating, thinking, wondering, how am I going to get my bachelor's? I just can't afford it. We're here to remove that barrier. Vice President of Education Alliance at Colorado Technical University, Chris Dwyer, says they are offering associates bachelor's and master's degrees. 
success and, and an ease of process for Bahamian students. We've got a dedicated admissions team. We've partnered with BIBT to help answer the, the questions and the financing on that. Um, but we take a look at every student who comes in. If they've got transfer credits from another university, we have a prior learning assessment team that's going to evaluate those credits and we're going to try to give the maximum amount of credit transfer credit that we can. Our classes are available 100% online, so you, you don't have to leave home to, to to come to class, though you are also welcome to attend classes with us in our Colorado campuses in Colorado Springs and Aurora, Colorado. An information session is currently underway at the Bahamas Union of Teachers Hall. In other news, the Grand Lucayne Resort could have a new owner soon, as hundreds of employees await details on the way forward. Tonight, the president of the union, which represents those workers, is commenting on the impending sale. The Grand Lucayan Resort was put on the market for sale earlier this year, and the deadline for the sealed bid auction was on June 10th. President of the Commonwealth Union of Hotel Services and Allied Workers, Michelle Dorsett, is optimistic that a deal will be finalized soon. Mr. Obi Ferguson, our legal advisor, who is the president of the Trade Union of Congress, he and myself and the trade union also leaders spoke on a meeting with the Prime Minister August 17th, and all will be well. Grand Bahama, as you could see when his press conference two days ago, he spoke about Grand Bahama. And the conversation will be had with him August 17th. He was speaking about Grand Bahama. And Grand Bahama needs a wake up. And he and his government, will, I am sure that they'll be doing a tremendous job with de dealing with Grand Bahama, especially in Grand Lucayan. The 400 plus acre property is the largest on Grand Bahama and is owned by a subsidiary of Hong Kong based Chong Kong Property Holdings Limited. The Grand Lucayne Resort property currently comprises of over 1,200 hotel rooms and four hotel elements. Breakers Key, Lighthouse Point, the Nye Suites and the Memories Beach Resort, which is presently being leased to a third party. The hotel employs over 400 workers and Dorset is advising them to continue to put their best foot forward. I just want the members to, just to come to work, be focused. We are doing our job for them by representing them. And we spoke to the Prime Minister on the 17th, and once he has done his part, then we have an announcement we made in short order. She believes the future of the beachfront property is bright. I am optimistic of that things are going to be doing good in Grand Lucayan, especially the workers. The workers are dedicated, and the unions are dedicated to their members and the ownership, whereby it will be a new owners. We'll be always there to assist in hospitality. President of the Grand Bahama Taxi Union, David Jones, is taking issue with recent comments made by owner of H. Forbes Charter, Hadley Forbes. In an interview with ZNS News, Forbes noted that despite the fact that he has travel agents soliciting business for his company, some of that business is shared with taxi drivers. Jones contends that drivers are not waiting for Forbes to bring them business, stating that tour operators like Forbes still have a monopoly when it comes to transporting to Tourists. What is happening is this. We have at the airport a plane come full from Canada, uh, Sunwing. Not one taxi driver gets a job of the, that flight. A plane comes full from Italy. A taxi driver, not one taxi driver get a job of that flight. These entities are subsidized by the government. We saying it's wrong. Jones says taxi drivers and straw vendors built this country, but the practices today support the tow operators to the detriment of taxi drivers. While he says tourists have the right to opt for a tour operator over a taxi cab, the union president feels they offer a better experience. He says that is why taxi drivers are now taking a proactive approach to secure a portion of the market. We are... We are putting ourselves out there. We are marketing ourselves. So persons can know they can get a personalized, a better experience uh, with a taxi, rather than us just putting 100 people in the bus. You, you don't want to do that when you go on vacation. You want to take a private tour with your family. You want to go see the sites. You want to go to the local areas. When you herd people in buses, when you just put people in buses and you give them an hour there, a half an hour there, they do not get the better experience. They do not know what this island is all about. Stay with us, there's more news after this.